Hello everybody, welcome back to Language Litigation and Integration Part 143, The American Cesspool. So, another casual conversations type episode, but we've had again, another, another execution style murder here in Columbus, Ohio, by the police. So the body cam was just released. Our wonderfully articulate and literate chief of police has had a great statement about it. So again, obviously more shootings, more cop executions. But seriously, if you lie about history in any way in a meaningful, substantial public way, you're being sued and being criminally prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. But there are no laws. Again, I keep, I'm so tired of just saying this shit. I want to fucking end people's fucking careers. I want people to fucking die in fucking jail for what the fuck they have done. Everybody, every single person stealing from me is going to be fucking prosecuted. Every single person older than the age of fucking 12. I don't feel safe in my own fucking home. I have cops jiggling guns in my fucking house as police officers execute fucking other people. So, I'm talking about the shootings first, and I gave another phone call to our illiterate chief of patrol or whatever, the Franklin County Sheriff's Office, James Gilbert. Mr. Bohas, can I help you? Yes, I have been defrauded out of my constitutional rights and a profound amount of wealth, and I have cops jailing their fucking guns in my house. And they just released videos of Donovan Lewis having a warrant being served at his apartment in Columbus, Ohio. I just have fucking disgusting. So I watched the body cam footage. I don't know, it's probably, there's three clips, probably, I don't know, probably, probably 15 to 25 minutes. And so they get called to an apartment. I don't know, there's three guys in an the apartment. Um, they have uh, a warrant for, I don't know, I don't know what the warrant was for, but they, they basically have two guys, two guys immediately come out, they get detained properly by police. Um, and then there's probably about three or four officers, they have a canine unit, and they're yelling for this guy Donovan to come outside. 20 year old in a bedroom doesn't come out does, not sure if he was sleeping not sure what was going on um but as a citizen again as someone who's going to fuck as many cops and as many cop families as i fucking can shout out to edwin powell edwin powell jr uh zachary philibin um todd Ryder, anybody that anybody that i know personally that's been a cop in my community is being sued for intellectual property to the full success of all so just fuck cops in general but so I'm not, not sure what was going on there, but as a citizen, I'm fully compliant. Someone who ha literally hates fucking cops. As a law-abiding citizen trying to collect my property and do mathematical research and leave, uh, I don't feel safe around any fucking police officers because they're insecure fat fucks that could shoot you. And they're just fucking untrained animals. Fucking animals! And so these, these, these worthless, disgusting animals, we'll call them human, we'll, yeah, animals, because they're not human beings. They're just, they're just executioners. They're, they're, they're taking out the trash, is what street dudes would say. And so, but they have, they have the, 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 the great laws behind them. So they have this, again, they're calling for Donovan, he's not coming out. They have a canine unit saying they're going to they're gonna have a dog go in. If he doesn't come out, he's going to get bit by the dog. Oh, no, way, we're way better than that. Let's go, let's go execute him in his bed. And so literally, literally they open the door, first sign of movement, they shoot him. First sign of movement, they murder. Fucking murder. I don't bud. High court. Fuck you. Murder, 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 murder. If he's not posing an imminent threat to society, there should be no warrants like that at all. Wait wait till he comes fucking outside. Sit in your fucking cop car and eat your fucking donuts. And I'm gonna execute people. So Chief Gilbert, these are these these are your these are your brothers in blue. These are the worthless fucking animals who send their kids to steal from me at school. The same fucking dumb fucking animals. And so that's that's absolutely fucking murder. I want, what was the cop's name? I think it was Ricky Anderson. I don't have the cop's name, but internet, do your thing. Find the cop's name and I want them out of society and their children are being sued for theft of intellectual property. If, if you, and our, our great, our great, uh, our great chief here, in, uh, uh, Elaine O'Brien, again, an illiterate monkey who can't speak properly at all, can't give a fucking speech. She said, and I quote, there was like a vape pen found on the bed right next to him. Like, oh my gosh, queen, yes, twerk that thing back for your third husband, bad bitch. Oh, twerk it. There was like a vape pen, like, oh my gosh, like, like, um, um, like, like. What a great fucking chief you are, you're a literate fucking animal. Get your dumb dogs in fucking line. Clean out your fucking closets. My fucking God. Fear God all you want. He's, he's not going to do anything to fucking help you. Fear God, motherfucker. Fear the fucking law. Fear the sentiment of this entire fucking species. My God, I do not feel safe in this fucking city. It is a third world hellhole. And so I immediately call, immediately call uh, Chief Gilbert again. In a polite tone, my, so my normal speaking voice, I'm not raising my voice when I call cops in any way. And again, as a citizen, I'm always going to be compliant with cops and fuck them as much as I fucking can in court. 
But it's just, again, you can't stop the interactions. And again, I just have the flashback images to Robbins and, and Severance and whoever else is Christian jiggling their fucking guns. Literally jiggling their fucking guns. And one second, one move, and they execute somebody fucking else. Get me the fuck out! I hate cops. I hate them all. I fucking hate them all. You are deemed by me, the nation state of Brad. Laugh if you want, it's not fucking funny. I'm going to get you the fuck out of society. You are fucking done. You are out of society. Let me fucking leave this American fucking cesspool. So that's murder. Moving on to another murder. We had Brian Matthew Richardson, 28, was murdered with gun pointed at ground after being de-armed. So it looked like there was some shooting. There was a cops were called to the scene for a, shoot, for a shooting incident. One person, this is like a 15 second clip, so you don't have to watch too long for an execution style murder here by our good old boys in blue. Um, but they they pull up on the scene and there's a kid, so a paramedic's giving aid to somebody who's been shot and there's an older brother standing to the side of the car. And then some onlookers start yelling, he's got a gun, he's got a gun, he's got a gun. Because again, everyone's insecure fucking animals, everyone just, literally, literally animals just screeching, screeching like monkeys to get attention. <laughs> And then, literally, one officer takes the guy's weapon, and then the instant the guy takes the guy's weapon, and it's never pointed up, it's never pointed at anybody, takes the weapon, the other guy shoots him. Eight shots, and just executes him. And this, these are, but this, the, the Columbus, Ohio, when the video footage was released yesterday, today is September 1st, um, and this Brian Matthew Richardson, I think it was Florida, but it was, it was like, in, in sometime in August, I think like August 6th or something. So, again, that was, it's just, it's just disgusting. This, this country, there are no laws in this fucking country. I cannot pay $10 million to feel fucking safe in the form of constitutional rights. In the form of universally declared constitutional human rights, or human rights than the constitutions. But the Universal Declaration of Human Rights says you have the right to access the constitution of your country, and I don't. And I have global conspiracies to suppress my research and, and, and my, my work and my property to the point where gun, cops are jeweling guns in my house and they are openly executing people in this fucking city. If you lie about American history, one, or fucking kill me, man. I'm so tired of doing this fucking shit. I will never get to live a day of my fucking life because other people do not raise their kids. They do not know how. They do not try. They're just fat, lazy, entitled fucking retards. Right? Think back to the 1400s. How many, how many people, what do you remember about the 1400s? Barely anything. How about 40,000 years? Nothing. In 100,000 years ago, every person mentioned in this fucking lecture series will have their entire family fucking shamed. Your ancestors will piss on your fucking graves. And, and rightfully so. People need to learn to fucking behave. Nobody in my family can. Nobody in my community can. Nobody I've ever fucking met is capable of moral behavior. They're insecure, privileged, entitled fucking animals. They're so fucking selfish. And they're just selfish. And they share insecurities with other people. And they do whatever the fuck they want. Disgusting. <laughs> this country is a fucking cesspool. And if you lie about history in any public, prominent way, you are being fucking criminally prosecuted and sued. This is real emotional damages and it's fucking lies and fraud. If Alex Jones gets $50 million for defaming Sandy Hook, you've ruined my life, you've endangered my life, you've continued to endanger my life, you've slowed down the progress of the human species for at least 60 years, 20 years at the most highest level possible, and we're still doing it. And we're still doing it, and I don't give a fuck about anybody besides myself. I want to feel safe enough to eat food. And I, you know, I'm sitting outside, and, and, a, and a, another, another big, like, big deputy car drives by. And again, another deputy car spot after I call these fucking dudes. And then now, like I said, they're at least waving to me now, but it doesn't matter. When I see a fucking police car, I think this guy is probably going to fucking kill me for existing. Because when, when I the, the head of the FBI abs illegally observing me and saying it's intimidating, guess what? The, 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 I'm the guy that just exists, and they'll just shoot me, and then they'll say, oh, well, another condolences for his family or some shit. And I, just, I can avoid, I've been making lecture series for four years to try to leave this fucking hell. It is disgusting. Being an American is the shittiest thing in the world. It's not like other countries are way better, but being an American is fucking hell. Fucking hell. I'm gonna do everything I can to take away every business opportunity, everything I can fucking do to smite this fucking country. Fuck you! I hate it, I hate it. It is so fucking disgusting. Americans are fucking filth. All right, again, I hate cops. I openly fucking hate cops. Every single fucking one of you fat fucking cows that failed at every fucking career option you ever fucking wanted, and so you picked up a gun, and now you execute people. Fucking disgusting. Kick them the fuck out of society. All right, on to other stuff. Right, hey, just torture Brad, steal all of his research, teach our kids to be good people, and start families, and die in the filthiest fucking shame in human history. <laughs> Literally in human history. 
the only person on the right side of history is me. Serena Williams likely retiring after 2022 US Open. Wins round one. I think she won round two as well. Watched the first round. I mean, I reviewed the uh, King Richard movie. Again, I respect good, good careers. Um, so I don't have any, we, we went over her career achievements. But good look at the, uh, good look at the uh, US Open, Serena Williams. Well, I don't know why you get lip fillers. Why are we getting lip fillers? Why the fuck are we getting so many lip fillers? Joe Rogan says, there's no science to it about Novak Djokovic being already infected on his podcast with Aaron Rodgers, who was allergic to PEG, talking about COVID vaccines. Again, any, any actual like allergy, that if, if I bashed Aaron Rodgers and I didn't know he had an allergy, then I take that back. Again, actual allergies would be again a comorbidity in the same way. You know, oh my gosh, and I saw someone fucking retard tweeting, oh, I could get, I'm a young man, I could get pericarditis and myocarditis, but my chances of getting myocarditis or pericarditis are like 1,400 times more from getting the actual infection. Anything can make your heart muscle swell a little bit. Any infection can, anything can. And so again, it's just, it's just trash. I'm not gonna go for the, the fucking COVID denier, anti-science freak shows. But no, it's absolutely, there's no science. No, there is science to it. Novak Djokovic, and he's already been infected, right? So he can't spread it or can't do anything, right? I agree. But he, he's, he's in a place of prominence. So when people, when human beings mimic other human people's behavior, which is how every human being that has ever lived has ever learned, well, then he's going to teach people to do the same thing. He's going to empower more dumb shit. And so for being a, uh, a, a, a prominent pr person, from a biological standpoint, already infected, get natural immunity, the thing with the... To me, not taking the vaccine is, is fucking playing Russian roulette and then encouraging other people to do it too because we want to fit into a group and feel good like Brett Weinstein and Heather Hanging. Hi, excuse me. <laughs> but no, from a, from a place of pro, there is there's science, so there's a he's in a place of prominence spreading his fucking behavior and he's, 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 he's worthless. He hits his tennis racket around. Like, who cares? Who, who gives a fuck? Who cares about life? Who cares about anything? Nobody. Never, never in a public place, anyone cares about fucking anything because you don't. You care about coming in your career until you're about 30 to 50, and then you just you just stagnate and say, well, well, that's what everyone else did, so. So, it's all, it's all good, so. But, yeah, again, actually get actual allergies. I'm allergic to ingredients, that's fine, so I don't give a fuck to apologize to Aaron Rodgers if I made fun of him for not getting, if he actually had, uh, since he has an actual um, allergy. I don't give a fuck, he's a worthless piece of shit. Oh, I don't want to endanger my football players. But Joe Rogan, right? You're being sued for th theft of intellectual property. Joe Rogan, you are going to prison, man. Like, what, like when you watch this video right now and you steal my research and you go smoke a cigar with your worthless fucking privileged fucking friends. Good God, fuck this fucking country. It is fucking hell. Joe Rogan, you will go to prison. You will not see your kids graduate high school if they publish my paper before your kids graduate high school, which is probably not likely because Americans love blowing up their own buildings and killing their own citizens and then watching cops execute people and say, well, well, Got to pay my bills, we're all living our own lives. Well, got to pay my mortgage. Well, got to go cheat on my wife, got to beat my wife. Got to go get fat. Got to go be a fat fuck again. I'm so busy, so busy today. Taylor Swift's re-recordings post, uh, post one million album sales. Oh, past, past one million album sales. First recordings were about 350,000 album sales. What, uh, that's my one economic talking point. But um, again, just fan, fan. If you have fans, again, if you're not kicked out of society, and your fans are going to support you more so than uh, a scummy album or a label. No, no, no. Uh, do I think they'll continue? Owner, I, I, I own all my music is one take, all of it, literally all of it, all mix and mastered. Nope, just whatever comes out of my mouth, my keyboard, my guitar, as my masters. Sweet. Little Egg Harbor PD cops detain a young man for flipping one of them off. Reviewing Deborah Cruz, Gulas, Gurias, Matthew Maynard case. And it was ruled on by Judge Jeffrey Sutton and Bernice Donald and Helen White. So basically, do you have a legal right to flip off a cop? Yes, you do. It's, it's been protected and ruled in court uh, for free speech. Basically, a chick gets, she flicks off a car, she gets pulled over for a citation um, for a low level you know, speeding ticket. She gets the speeding ticket as she's driving away, she flips off the cop. And then the butthurt cop, again, if they're not executing you, they're going to get offended and say, why did you flip me off? I'm going to assert any authority over you I can because they're offended. They're regular citizens that have higher responsibilities, and then they get offended, and then they just, they're going to be a gang member. It's what the fuck they're going to do. And so pulls her over again and issues her, issues her a higher ticket. 
Yeah, because you can't say fuck you. Like, again, like any citizen, any citizen in this entire world, when's, you've never heard someone say fuck you to you before, right? And then could you, could you give, make them pay you money for that? No. But if you're a cop and you're pathetic as fuck and just trash and worthless fuck, probably cheats on your wife, cheats on your husband, abuses your kids, can't pay your fucking bills, and then relies on the police unions and the NRA to say you're good fucking people. It's just fucking trash. So there was another, another one of those incidents. I think, I think the, the, young, the young man, the guy did it well. But even, even against that, I would, I, I would be even more polite. Like, I wouldn't even be, like I said, if I'm, I do this sometimes, if I'm driving down the road and I see a cop that can't pull me over, not because I'm afraid to get pulled over or I don't know my rights, because they'll just do this shit. And I avoid cops at all fucking cops, or at all costs. But I'll, but I'll yell, fuck you out the window at cops. If there's like, if they're like, some, pulling somebody over on the side of the fucking road and I know they're not gonna get in the car and chase me, I will literally yell out the window, fuck you as loud as I possibly fucking can. And again, I would do it, I would do it all the time if I knew this shit wouldn't happen. So again, I, I, I'm a, I fucking hate cops. I hate all of them. And, and but I would flip them all off, but I just, I, I, again, I'm more practical. I, I don't wanna, I'd rather not assert any sort of di dissent and just, just go on about my day and not get executed for something. But I would flick off every single fucking cop every time I drove past every single fucking one of them. They're fucking disgusting fucking thieves. Forget all these executions. All of their kids are going to schools distributing my property and lying about it. And endangering my life in the process. So that was a good job by the young man at Little Egg Harbor in New Jersey. Oh, uh, more shootings. We had a 24-year-old shooter kills two and injures five. Two police officers. Fuck them. In, rampage, in a rampage in Phoenix, Arizona. I think it was a murder-suicide, I think. Is that a question mark? Um, again, if, if the cops aren't killing you, you're, you're, you're edgy 18 to 25-year-old, or you're, you're 45 to 65-year-old that didn't grow up until they were four, biologically 45 to 65, well, then they're going to start executing you. Again, the gauntlet of America, the American cesspool is just like, can you go to the grocery store without getting shot? Can you go to the subway without getting shot? Pop and smoke! Can you go to a concert without getting shot? Can you... Can you sit in your own home without cops harassing you because when you close on a home and people don't give you the security code and now they get intimidated and they drive past you and yell out the window, stop calling our bosses for public record. Can you do anything in this country? No. There are no laws in this country. Saying otherwise is false history. You have to be in the privileged group. You have to be fat, pathetic, poor, and a disgusting, retarded, illiterate animal until you're 30. So you spread insecurity with your groupmates so they let you fit in. Oh my goodness, this country is disgusting. It's so fucking disgusting. Oh, and if we're not killing our kids that way, we'll kill our kids with malnutrition. We had a vegan mom gets life in prison for starving her son to death with raw foods, fruits and vegetables. Sheila O'Leary, great, great, great lady. Again, she's woke. She's going she's gonna to help the planet with her good values. And she was 38. She killed Ezra O'Leary in Florida. The 18-month-year-old weighed 17 pounds which is normal for a seven-month-year-old when he died on September, in September 2019. They had found two other malnourished children, ages three and five, and the father was in jail for the, on similar charges. So we have an example again at the family unit level. Mom and dad want to have values. Oh, I'm a bad bitch. Oh, I'm going to do something there. I'm going to go plug fat. I'm gonna, uh, I think that is your picture's pretty skinny. You can shoot from a malnourished. But oh my goodness, I, I want to be thin so my, 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 my titties look good and my ass pops out so I can get good fucked. And how do I do that? Oh, I lose some weight. Oh, how did I do that? I ate a salad. Oh, now I'm gonna food a fucking a, a baby child. Just whatever, whatever delusional things I think on my Facebook mom group. Oh, my kid's fucking dead. Uh oh. But mom and dad, yeah, great values. They form a group, and now we're gonna starve our kids because of the values. In this country, if I make it out of this fucking country alive, man, I'd be fucking surprised. And I just want the anxiety to stop. It's just fucking constant. I don't feel safe without rights. It's that fucking simple. And this country is a carnival of shit. Mikhail Gorbachev dies at age 91. Um, I just want to get the pronunciation. Holy crap, when Ben Shapiro was trying to pronounce this one, this was like, <laughs> a little too much kike in his voice. He was like, Mikhail, 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 Mikhail. But I don't know, again, I don't, I'm 80% with the Cyrillic alphabet. And so I want to get the actual spelling in Cyrillic. To Russian, to English. I guess English to Russian. Okay, when I get this fucking pulled up, I'll come back to it. Oh, oh, show and tell, show and tell day, guys. A second grader in Arizona brings up two guns um, to school and ammunition. So again, little Johnny, don't forget your, don't forget your peanut butter and jelly. 
your, 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 uh, your accounting book, your multiplication tables, and your SIG. Don't forget your FN. Don't, you still gotta respect that FN's still my weapon. Like young, or not young thug, uh, 42 Doug. Thump shit, thump shit. That FN's still my weapon. Here you go, little Johnny. Don't forget your bulletproof backpack in case somebody else forgot that brought their FN to school. So, that's pretty good stuff. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get this McHale thing. I'm double, I'm, I'm double, double trying to multitask. It's just physically impossible. Gorbachev. So it's spelled Hale. Hale, I'm just going to do the pronunciation on here. Turn it up. Hopefully you can hear it. Mikhail. No, I'm not Mikhail. Ben. Mikhail. Oh, I almost made myself gag there. Mikhail. Yeah, R-E-L-A-L. Shiel. Mikhail. It's the X that's throwing Ben in the Russian. Gor. Gorbachev. Gorbachev. Shiel. Gorbachev. Mikhail Gorbachev. So, Ben Shapiro, holy guy, I have 14 A's trying to listen to him pronounce that word. Or that name. But again, he was the he dissolved the, the Soviet Union, I think it was 1991. But end of the Soviet Union, we didn't give a whole lesson on the Soviet Union, so he just passed away. So whatever. But yeah, show and tell, baby, you gotta bring those FNs and those SIGs. Leonardo DiCaprio breaks up with his girlfriend, Camila Morone. 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 25 female. I guess Leonardo DiCaprio doesn't date women over 25, which is weird. I'm, I'm going to be 29 in 9 days and I can't imagine dating a girl under 22, mainly because of college and just maturity. But, again, that would just be cool to date at all. Like, be, a, be famous at something. And again, I would never, I would never be a musician, I would never be a scientist of any repute, repute. I would never be, I would never be allowed to have an opportunity to do anything besides maybe get executed in my home. But then maybe I could date at all. That would be, that'd be fucking cool. Downtown Josh Brown is actually based Boris Johnson, LOL. So, downtown Josh Brown from the compound and regular uh, contributor on CNBC. He wore his hair like Boris Johnson. And I've seen that fucker on CNBC for years. And I had never made the connection. And when he wore his hat like that, like, hair like that, because I'm fucking laughing. So that is absolutely a doppelganger, Josh Brown. When you wear your hair like that without a slick back, you absolutely look like fucking Boris Johnson. So that was fucking funny. So that was some white humor. Oh. Um, then our last, last talking point for today, good God, I don't feel safe in my own home and this city is a third world country, was Joe Biden makes a joke about finding the best basketball players in town. The only white guy in the bucket, LOL, to the 69th power. So Joe Biden, again, stumbling through more sentences. And again, the reason you guys can't form sentences is because you have writers. Then you're aware of me, and you start hearing sounds, and, you're, and then you're not me, and you stumble, and you say, uh, uh, fundamental theory of logic. If you don't know what to say, you, don't, you can't say anything. Uh, 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 to the to the, the diverse side of town and he would be the only white guy in the bucket because that's where you find all the best basketball players which is kind of pretty true most NBA players are black I mean that's again brown brown there's no black people and white people there's pink people and brown people and maybe is yellow for Asian nah nah I just think we're just we're, 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 we're brown and, and pink brown bounded that's our skin tone or pigment bound for the human monkey race Ugh, oh, that was about it. Any stories? Didn't have anything written down. Hit up the, hit up the uh, food truck again. Had another kind of moderately interesting experience. And again, I'm just me. Like, I'm not like walking around like, oh my gosh, someone's gonna know who I am or this or that or anything. Just fucking anything. Food truck, get, they do a food truck once a week, so I'm obviously gonna hit that shit up. Try to, I hate cooking as much as I do, especially at this point in my life. But, so I figured I'd hit up the food truck. So I go there, we had, I think it was Taquitos, was the, the brand or the, the company. Well, yeah, I speak Spanish fine. So I ordered in Spanish, did pretty good. Again, I can sp speak Spanish fucking fine. But, so I ordered my food. Ugh. Oh, and, and like, it's like a food truck. Just a, one, a single food truck on a normal residential neighborhood uh, 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 road. And so I ordered my food truck, and then I step back probably, I don't know, 10, 20 yards. Like, I'm not like, I'm not like up at the food truck window. Thinking like, so like, there wouldn't be a line forming behind me. This dude comes right up behind me, basically just stands right behind me. 
like, 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 like four feet behind me. So I turn around, I'm just like, hey man, I already ordered if you, uh, you can, like I already ordered, you can go out ahead. His actual response was okay. It wasn't like, and then he didn't go order. He was, it was okay. And so I'm just sitting there like, again, I don't go to these things with any sort of expectation of anything. And it could be a normal fucking, could be a normal neighbor, but still, what kind of response is that, okay? Hey man, you can go ahead and, you, I already ordered, you can go ahead, okay. But and not like a, not like an okay and then I go. He stares at me and says okay and then doesn't move. <laughs> I was like, uh, okay. And then I heard the, the Mexican dude saying something about fucker. And we've, uh, dude, the other dude seemed like he spoke Spanish too, the other white dude. Seemed like he spoke Spanish because he, he, his, his ears perked up. <laughs> and so, I don't know, not really a story. I mean, I didn't make anything of it. I didn't think, I didn't think it, it was just the straightest shit ever. Because I'm not like in, I'm like up by the window of the food truck. I'm well back just waiting for my food to be, be delivered or be, be prepared. The dude comes in like four, four feet behind me. And I'm, the other thing is just another dude thinking that I'm like waiting to get in line. I'm like, hey man, I already ordered. Okay. And then he doesn't go up in order. Ugh. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck to make of that. So either another weird fed or just a weird neighbor. Who knows? Could potentially could be either. Can be either. <laughs> so I don't know, man. I just again, every fucking day I get these fucking jolts of anxiety because this country does not enforce the fucking law. And so I, 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 I've continued to inquire about the public records for any shootings involving the people that were jiggling their guns in my fucking home as they demonstrably execute people. And they say, well, Elaine Bryant was like, oh my gosh, I mean, like, there's like a, pen, a vape pen, like, oh my gosh, one moment, boom, murder. And I just want to, I just want to remove myself from that scenario. If, if people are at a party and doing drugs, you don't feel comfortable, Johnny, you leave. And if, if you're in a country that just ran, we're, we're, we're starving our kids to death, we have second graders bringing in their FNs. We have uh, police harassing people for flipping them off, which is their right. We have cops executing people in their homes. We have cops executing people standing around as their brothers are bleeding out, dying. So there's a lot of great stuff you can do here in America. But for real, if you lie about history in any capacity, and this is the thing that like, Joe Rogan, he's on there saying there's no science to it. If Joe Rogan was hit with a $50 million lawsuit for every time he fucking lied about science, he would change his tone a little bit. But you guys haven't felt the consequences of your actions. He probably never will. And the next lifetime, you're going to die a thousand lifetimes for your disgusting fucking behavior. Joe Rogan goes to prison. Every major academic, every major fucking business owner goes to fucking prison. If you guys don't raise your kids, I do. They go to school and steal from me. So you guys can go fucking rot in a fucking cell for 10 to 20 years. Or die in jail. No problem here. I've already lost 22 years of my life. Literally 29 in 9 days, and I haven't lived a minute of my life because other people won't fucking let me. My name is Brad Bowes. I'm being profoundly and extensively tortured. There is nothing I can do. There is nowhere I can go, and there is no one I can call. There is not a person on this planet capable of moral behavior. Do not lie about fucking history, and fuck you. I have no friends. So thank you for watching Language Litigation and Integration Part 143, The American Cesspool. I am still stuck in a country where I do not have constitutional rights to the point where I get harassed, disrespected, intimidated, threatened, menaced every two fucking days. So please let me leave this third world fucking filth. Thanks for watching.